Good evening, Karina Cavallio with ABC News. What started as a compulsory plebiscite on same-sex marriage has now become a household survey and the subject of a High Court challenge. Today's parliamentary debate saw Labor throw its weight behind the campaign for a yes vote. That prompted a rebuke from one gay Liberal MP who pointed out the opposition had its chance when in government. Here's National Affairs correspondent Greg Jennett. This is a very proud moment in my personal development. The halal headline and the human headline. Come on, come on, cut with me. Here we go. Combined for a confected stunt on same-sex marriage. The point was soon lost, as was all interest. The serious advocacy happened without props. If you believe that the government shouldn't be able to tell you who you can and can't marry, then vote yes. Standing on the spot, Tony Abbott had occupied a day earlier. If you don't like same-sex marriage, vote no. Trent Zimmerman crafted his retort. And if you want to help bring this country together so that we can all move on from this issue, then vote yes. The call for national unity is a difficult pitch. I encourage every Australian to exercise their right to vote. A former High Court judge is opting out entirely. I'm not going to take any part in it whatsoever. And the court's current bench is being asked to strike down the poll. There are limited things that uh, a government can do without parliamentary authorisation, and we say they've overstepped those, uh, those bounds. Electoral rolls are closing in a fortnight, and the Bureau of Statistics is pressing ahead with what's legally no longer a plebiscite. Why not have a postal survey for and on behalf of the people for same-sex couples to marry? I hold the Prime Minister responsible and the Australians will too. Labor's rejecting the survey outright, but faced with destroying it or securing a win for the yes case, it's taken a stand. I will be voting yes. I will be campaigning for a yes vote. I will do my bit. Bill Shorten knows where he stands. Tony Abbott does too. Now in the weeks ahead, Malcolm Turnbull faces delicate choices over his activism. Do too much and risk getting mired in unnecessary conflict. Do too little and risk losing the argument. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.